We've showed you the evidence. Lois Lerner targeting a sitting U.S. Senator, Republican Chuck Grassley. But why Senator Grassley? The Washington Examiner Susan Fariccio has been investigating that story. She joins us once again. Susan, um, do these two know each other, Senator Grassley and Lois Lerner? Oh, yes. Uh, of all the senators and House members, um, Chuck Grassley, more than anyone else, scrutinized tax-exempt groups. Uh, in within our country, like hospitals, charities, he wanted greater oversight. He wanted more uh, accountability. He wanted more transparency. And Lois Lerner, from 2005 on, was it has been head of these tax exempt organizations. And and Grassley was head of the Senate Finance Committee, either as chairman or as the top Republican. And for five years under her tenure, and while he was the top Republican, he really pushed for greater scrutiny of all these groups that she oversees. Now we're talking. ACORN, which was, you know, a, a group that a lot of Republicans targeted at the time, the Red Cross and how they dealt with their donations, the United Way. He went after the big charities, and it really forced the tax-exempt part of the IRS to rewrite the rules and in, draw in much greater scrutiny of these organizations. I, I have never in my life seen anything so over the top than her uh, wanting to refer Grassley to, um, to be for an audit for the simple reason that she gets a letter about Grassley being invited someplace, Grassley didn't even get the letter. I mean, there's right. and, and there's no there's no even there, there's no conduct that was illegal. She just receives a letter inviting him to speak, and she wants to go after him. It's my my understanding. This is about the culture of the division that that Lerner, you know, was overseeing. That she she brought along this culture of. Uh, just sort of the, the hair trigger response. That's, to, not, that's um, vicious. That's actually it, not it a is. hair trigger. I think that's actually vicious because it's so. Pro I mean, what she did was so profoundly wrong. Well, on top of that, from my understanding is that there were a lot. The people in Grassley's office were often trying to get her to look into uh, bigger problems like the tax shelters that really sh that were suspicious or other organizations that really deserved more scrutiny, and they couldn't get her to do any any of this work. And then all then she get, does this really hair trigger referral on one invitation for Grassley for him to be audited. So, you know, she responds to that very quickly, but, but, but doesn't deal with any of these other things. And it's about the culture there, about her lack of understanding about tax law, which we know, which we've heard about in these hearings, which, which I, my understanding is that she didn't have a great understanding of that, but also political bias. It was a combination of those two things. And that's kind of a microcosm of the bigger problem with that organization and how they ended up targeting well, these one, party, one of her colleagues groups. pulled her off the ceiling and told her, you know, how patently absurd it was what she was trying to do and right, bad. So, understood the tax law, but she yes, did. Understood the right. tax law because it was so wrong what uh, she was doing. Right. Anyway, Susan, thank you.